Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to the long anticipated next episode of Escape Simulator. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about this game. I've just been really busy doing other stuff. And um, we're going to actually jump straight back into where we got to on the campaign last time, which is in the Adrift in Space um, section of the game. And our next level we're going to play is the lab. And hopefully, we can. Um, continue our good momentum and uh, we haven't forgotten too much about uh, how these sorts of things work but uh, yeah without further ado let's jump into the lab and uh, we'll see how, what we can do here all right so crystal slot position the scanner man uh, okay so we gotta position the scanner manually all right so it's got structural damage um placement lock treatment insert crystal all right, so we're going to need to get a crystal. So we have a medicine cabinet. So we've got various tools here that we can use. I suppose we can use them maybe here. We've got sodium hydroxide and aluminium. It also makes sodium aluminate plus hydrogen. Okay, so they're just antibiotics. That's the hint button. We don't want that. What do you want to combine? We've got the periodic table here. Okay. We have a robot. What does a robot do? It's a clue. I don't remember how to play the game. It's been a while. Serial number. Is there any way to turn it on? I guess not. So we've got some jars and beakers and things in here. It's got some, ah, okay. Sodium hydroxide. Can I eat the donut? I guess not. So yeah, sodium hydroxide was one of our things that we needed here, wasn't it? There's our supply cabinet, which we need to work out how we're going to unlock. Due to, the, due to the lack of storage space, we've decided to recycle any alum, aluminium waste on the ship to produce sodium aluminate. The even soda cans can help. It's simple to make. Okay. But you're not going to tell me how to make it, I suppose. It's got an energy manifest. Zinc. Various flasks. A soda can. I guess we're going to need to use that. So we've got a keypad here. We need to work out what the combination to that is. Metal recycling. So can we uh, put our soda can in here? No, we can't. But there are some pieces of aluminium. In there, I got some tablet here. Uh, if I figured it out, you can make some self-replicating artificial organisms using the following: S, I, O, and H. That's um, okay. So these are chemical symbols. I made three molecules, and they have special symmetry of them. It's it's beautiful. I had to 3D print them. There's they are very similar, so you need to be observant. Find the differences. There are three of them on each atom. Okay, so there's three differences on each atom. It's carbon, oxygen equals carbon monoxide. Oh, jeez. I'm uh, feeling very much uh, out of my comfort zone right now. Is there anything I can press on here? No. What do you want to create? Crystal. Insufficient levels of nitrogen, sodium, aluminate detected, and insufficient helium. So if we need to make that, then are we looking for the model that represents that, possibly? Okay, so let's hold think about this. So have we got aluminium and sodium hydroxide? Let's have a look. Yes, okay, so we've got sodium hydroxide. And aluminium. Is 
We need a full cam, maybe? Okay, so we have successfully created sodium luminate. Excellent. Okay, so... Um, so we need some nitrogen. How do we make nitrogen? Or where do we get nitrogen from? Nitrogen. Okay, are we missing... I thought I should be able to like get into there as well. Seems a bit suspicious to me. Can I like... I guess not. I wonder if I could like use that somehow to open things up. Okay, time's a ticking. And I don't feel like I'm making too much progress at the minute. Three, three, three. Well, oh, wasn't there like a... Yeah, that's uh, quite annoying, actually. So our nitrogen's in there, so we need to work out how we're going to open this, right? How do we open this supply cabinet? Right, maybe I can make some helium. Didn't I have helium? Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, I've got to make, like, this, I guess. So, we could do that... I know we're going to need to do... Okay. Goes around to there. This one's going to be that. Two. One, two, three. Then we're going to go around... Do that. Then that. Then we're going to need to do... Oh. Let's think. Let's think, let's think, let's think. Could do... Hmm. That's problematic, isn't it? We need like more of these these ones, but we don't have them. That'll be our final one. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. I think I see. We can do these ones here instead. Which will give us that and that. Then Move that one out of the way, put that one there. And we need one more to connect up here. And what am I missing here? Let's get rid of that. So we want something here as well. Unless that's the wrong place there. Which it could well be. Ah, uh, hold on. 
Man, this is this one's pretty tough. I don't know if it's. I, I'm, I'm not going to say that it's because I haven't played it for a while, but yeah, this one is. Um, this one is pretty tricky for me at the minute. So I need another one of these, which I can probably create like that. There we go. We got some coolant. Excellent. So where do I put the coolant? Coolant goes in here. So we have got the coolant, but now we need to make the crystal. So we need for this we need nitrogen and sodium aluminate. Right. So we've got our sodium, sorry, aluminium, aluminate, which is this one. So now we need some nitrogen. So nitrogen. How are we going to make some nitrogen? Also, how are we going to get into here? Oh, hold on. We've got to count the reds and the... Here. Yes, okay, so it's red, white, blue. So where are all our models? Three, six, eight. Three. Uh, seven. That'd be 11, though, so that wouldn't be right, would it? Hold on, there was something, though, about the... Where was that tablet? I made three molecules, and they have a special symmetry to them. It's beautiful. I had to 3D print them. They are very similar, so you need to be observant. Find the differences. There are three of them, one for each atom. Okay, so we need to work out what is different. So they're the same. Three. So we've got two. Two, three, four. Two. No. So then is it maybe the three? Ah, okay. I'm not I'm not understanding this, so let's look at it a little bit more. Let's pull out our uh, models. I guess we're looking for this one though. Helium is the blue, so we want three. We want one with three blues. Three blues. I was thinking. No, so I was looking at the. Don't need this DNA model. I was looking at the. I was looking at the numbers. Can we? Can we not, please? Thank you. I was looking at like this model here, this makeup here. But yeah, it's not just a case that we have to like count the how many there are because obviously there's eleven. What there's eleven whites in total, so that's not going to be. Correct, is it? I might put them down properly. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how to. You can make self replicating artificial organisms using the following. I've made three molecules. And they have a special symmetry to them. I 
Yeah, so I'm seeing like the pattern here. So there's one difference, right? Like that white one right there is different to that blue one there. I guess we just gotta like work out how many there should be, right? So like that one's got an extra that one's got an extra SI. Uh, sorry, one less SI on the, on this one. This one's got a helium underneath that SI that's extra. Um, Okay. Um, what is it with these models? Come on. Have we got any hydrogen? No. So just looking at that, the sodium aluminate with hydro plus hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. It's got to be just something to do with like the amount of each there is. Two. Let's go two. Let's go try two, three, three. Okay, so it's the odd one out. So, um, yeah, this one has two reds. That one has three. Whereas the other two have two, and then this one has three whites. Whereas that one have four. Okay, so we've got a controller. We've also got a blowtorch. Not sure where we're going to use the uh, the blowtorch, but okay. So, and I'm guessing the um, troller. It's for this. It's oxygen. Okay, I think we need to maybe spell out something here. Let's have a look. Let's, um, we pin this or not? No. So eight to 10 is one. The other floor. And then we've got, okay, 90 to 75. 90. Seventy five, I'm guessing it's gonna be is RE. Okay, so one, three, ninety-nine and one nineteen. 
119. Or was it 90? Oh dear. Yeah, no, 99, 119. Yes. Ninety-nine to one nineteen. Oh, six. If we drop the E from there, we can do six. A six, six. Okay. Open vent. Hey, there's me. I pretty, I'm pretty, still pretty sure that we need to do something with this vent. Let's move this chair out of the way. Alright, so I need to open this vent, so... What have I got that I can open this vent with? Blowtorch? Didn't quite um, do it all. There we go. All right, so now we'll go back to here. Place our robot in the vents. I don't think our robot can um, take tokens and we can't take them through the uh, camera but we can obviously um, we can crouch down I'll be able to take it in a little bit Oh. Why was my connection lost to my device? Oh, because we ran into something and we knocked it down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, can I then use my blowtorch again here? Yes, we can. Don't have too much nitrogen. Okay, and then we will put it here. And now we want to make our crystal. Uh, is it the crystal? Yes, it is the crystal, isn't it? Okay, so now let's try and work um, this one out. It's going to be pretty interesting, I think. So we can have that one there. That one there to make that section. Then we're going to want to do that. Oh, but we're going to want to put that at the top, aren't we? We can't have two on the occupying the same space. So we'll need to do one. Uh, oh, let's think about this. Let's think about this. We should just like make the middle bit first and go from there if we can. Also, is that is it straight? I'm just I'm trying to look at it, and it's like really, it's really weird. It's kind of like it's straight, but it's not straight. Does that make sense? 
I don't know if it does not. Alright, so I think this one's got to go there. Then we can use that piece there. That one there. Which does that bit and that bit. Then we just need to close this bit off here. Which we don't look like we have. We don't appear to have a section that will allow us to do that. So if we take that away. That's not going to work either. All right. That's that bit. We need we need one piece there which would have to be that. So that piece can't go there. It's not that piece there. Do we have anything similar to that that we could use potentially? The only pieces that can be on this end is this piece here or this piece here. So let's start with this piece. That piece. Which means here... All right, let's change our starting again. Hmm. I have to go there. Okay. Can't do that unless we have a piece of this corner here, which we don't. I've got to stop doing that. I've got to stop putting that there. Come on. I'll be honest. This this is this is quite a challenge um up till now i feel like i've pretty much breezed through a lot of escape simulator but yeah this this section right here is definitely challenging me yeah you see that's that won't work because of that piece that i need to put a piece here that's what stops this from working so what can I do there instead? If I was to get rid of that and put that piece there. Up, down to there and across. So that would work. But then I would need to put that there, which doesn't work. That would work. But then I don't have the piece to go here which is where it kind of falls apart. Also, I would need two individual parts to go there and there. So, yeah, that's um, that's not the solution either. Put that in there. So here I could use a one of these. And here I would need like a piece to go there and there. I could put that there. I could replace this with that, which gives us that. Now I need a piece to go up here. I think that might be it. That might be it. And I need one more piece. Ah, that ain't it. Get rid of that piece, get rid of that piece. We have that there. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was, yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, we are nowhere near our time on this one, are we? Wow, like I said, that 
for me, that's probably like the hardest one that I've played so far. But I am really glad to see that difficulty because like I've sort of touched on um, earlier on that I do feel like sometimes some of these have been a little bit too easy and I've been able to breeze through them quite quickly. But I mean, that took us nearly half an hour to get through that one. So um, yeah, fantastic stuff and um, really quite excited now to jump into the rest of it and see where we go from here. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. And until the next episode of Escape Simulator, I've been Nokia, you've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.